In this video, I have a special message for the natural lifters who believe they need to train like a weak piece of shit. Before I get into this topic, if you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below the best topic ideas. I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, I'd love to work with you. Check out the link down below. All right, so I'm going to try not to turn this into a rant, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Yesterday in the community section on YouTube, I posted something basically saying I wasn't specifically science-based and I wasn't specifically bro-based, that I, I spent my life studying training, spent my life studying workouts, and I consider myself history-based. And of course, it's YouTube and you're gonna get ridiculous comments. One of the comments basically implied that, yes, everybody, <laughs> did, we, did we take into consideration PEDs? And um, implying that the natural lifter can't do as much volume, implying we should under train or maybe do only two sets per body part or whatever the belief was. The basic belief is that the natural lifter is more fragile than the PED lifter and the natural lifter needs to train like a weak piece of shit. This is kind of a prevalent belief in the industry by some factions of the natural community that because they are taking PEDs, like they somehow PEDs turn lifters into superhumans and somehow as natural lifters, we're fragile and we need to train weaker with less volume, with less intensity. Uh, we just have this, there's this mindset that we, we're just super fragile and we, we can't attack the iron, shouldn't attack the iron. That's a game for PED lifters. And you know what? Nothing could be further from the truth. I'm going to tell you the reality and this crowd isn't want, going to want to hear it, but the reality is that you are not fragile that as a natural lifter, you probably need to train harder, okay? You probably need to train with more volume than you expect. You don't have the advantage of PEDs. You're gonna have to get a lot stronger than you think. You're gonna have to train a lot harder than you believe. The natural lifters I know that have reached close to their natural potential, they don't train like a weak piece of shit. Just because somebody like Stuart McRobert or somebody in the hit community put out some propaganda, some nonsense that, oh, because we're poor little fragile naturals, we need to train with less volume. And a few guys, yes, they'd go over and they'd run these programs and because these programs have compound movements and progressive overload and they made a little bit of an improvement in their gains, somehow they believe this is the magic way. Well, a slight improvement in your gains doesn't mean you're gonna get close to your natural potential, doesn't mean you're gonna pack on a lot of muscle mass, and it doesn't mean it's the only way to train. This is nonsense. As a natural lifter, if you want to pack on a lot of mass, you're going to have to train a lot harder than you are now. You're gonna to have to train a lot harder than you think, and you're not a fragile little dolly. They have the advantage of PEDs. They have the advantage of going into the gym and basically doing whatever the fuck they want as long as it makes some relative degree of sense and adding on mass. But one thing I've learned about training with top naturals or guys that are close to their potential is they train a lot harder than you think. So if you think your future, if you think you're gonna get close to your natural potential or pack on a lot of mass as a natural, if you think your future involves just minimalistic training, like let's minimize the amount of volume, let's minimize the number of sets per exercise, let's minimize everything because, oh, we're so fragile, we can't possibly train that hard because they're superhumans. You have it flipped upside down. The case can easily be made that it's the opposite. As a natural, you're gonna to need to train a lot harder. You're gonna to need to get a lot stronger than you want to. You're gonna to have to dig deep mentally and go to places you really don't want to go. When that weight starts to feel heavy, you, you can't quit, you can't cop out, you need to continue to push. You need to continue to focus on maximizing every set, getting everything you can out of every set. It's even more critical for the natural lifter. If you look at the history of natural lifting, way back in the 50s and 60s, the, ways, the way guys like Grimick and Reg Park and Steve Reeves trained, they didn't train like wet noodles. They didn't train with some modern minimalistic view of training like, oh, we're so fragile, we need to minimize everything. 
These guys train like freaking bulldozers. They train like bulls. They train like bears. They train in ways I don't think I could train. I want you guys to remember this because if you take mass seriously, you're gonna need to get after it in the gym. My clients that are making great progress, and 95% of them are natural, let's just put that out there, are training hard. They're training light years ahead of what this little faction of naturals believes this. We're so fragile faction believes this. Let's just minimize everything because we're on PEDs believe. My clients that are making amazing progress as naturals are crushing it in the gym. They're doing things that the average lifter couldn't imagine. They're not special individuals. The only thing that makes them special is that I give them a program and they go in the gym and they trust the process. That stuff aside, I'm making this video to encourage you guys, when you hear this stuff, when you hear this, oh, the body is so fragile crowd in the natural community and we have to minimize volume and we can't possibly do what the PD users do. This is complete bullshit. There are natural lifters out there in every sport, in every corner of the world, just absolutely crushing things. Stop feeling fucking sorry for yourself. Stop acting like a little boo-boo baby. You're going to have to get a lot stronger than you are now. You're going to have to train a lot harder than you are now. And this belief that because you're natural, you aren't superhuman. You have to train like some sort of a wet noodle. I got bad news for you. It's the opposite. You're going to have to turn up the intensity and get after it. Now, I'm not talking about some radical high volume training. My naturals that are making great results aren't doing any circus acts. They're just training normally, like how I teach in the massive iron world. Training for four days a week, 75 to 90 minutes a day. That's all it really takes, but they're not trying to minimize. They're not playing the I'm a little fragile baby card. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, Please do, I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.